What's up, fabricators? Recently, Jen and I went to Joann's Fabrics, and uh, in our random wandering around looking at stuff, we came across this. Uh, Jen actually saw it, knowing me so well, knew that I would really like to try this out. It is a two-part, it just looks like it's two things of paint, um, and it's supposed to help you create rust. I made a video about rust before, uh, not specifically rust, but in this video, we are going to try this product and see how well it actually works. Um, I've never tried it before. This first time ever, ever even seeing it was when we came across it there. So you're not only going to be able to see how it works, but you're also going to get my first impressions of the product. So let's go try this out. Okay, so I started off with the darker color of the two um, as per the instructions uh, and then poured it out onto my little mixing tray. Um, it has like a sandy kind of texture to it. There's something in there, so it's definitely textured. Make sure that you shake it up a bunch before uh, you actually pour it out um, because you want to get that textured, sandy kind of grit all mixed up in there real nice. Um, I went around the S and the N uh, just in areas that I thought, you know, I wanted the rust to come through and leaving the silver showing at some spots. And then I went back with a little bit of water on there so I can get some dripping, um, which it also suggests on there that you let it get all drippy. So then I went back with the lighter of the two colors. This one's more of a red-orange. Um, make sure to shake it up. And I did the same thing. I went around the areas that I'd already put the darker color on and um, just wherever I thought that I'd like the rest to come through. I actually went on to the, the uh, silver parts a little bit more so on this one than I did on the other one. And then did the same thing with the rust dripping areas. So this is what it looks like with just the kit, the two colors that it comes with. Uh, it has a nice texture to it and everything, so I think it works out pretty well. However, I really like orange, so I'm going to go with some orange acrylic paint of my own and um, just add that orange look to it because I really like the way that looks on rust. And honestly, I think that it kind of bumps it up a little bit. Um, so I dry brushed some orange on top of the pre-existing colors. I decided that I wanted to try and make it look like that it was painted before, um, so I went with uh, some blue and then painted in the areas that were silver, because uh, I didn't really like the way the silver looked, um, just to make it look like the, the paint was um, flaking off and, and rusting from underneath because that's the way paint rusts. Um, so I went over, over it in different areas and everything, just kind of guessed where I wanted it to be at, um, going over the silver areas and adding to it. The negative to this is that you are going to get that rust texture underneath in some areas. Um, but overall, I think, I think it ended up looking pretty good. So once I was done with the N, I went and did the same thing with the S. I added some of the orange rust to it, and then I go back and um, add the blue paint color. Once I was done with that, I went back with some of the lighter uh, orange color and did the dripping over the paint this time and uh, let that dry. Okay, so here is the final product. These are two big compressed cardboard uh, letters for Strictly Nerd that I got. And I think it came out decent. I think it, it actually you know, gets the point across. It does a pretty good job at uh, what it's supposed to do. Look a little bit closer if we can focus on that and you can see the texture and everything in it. I went back with some blue uh, and tried to make it look like it had been painted before. Yeah, these, these came out pretty good. So overall, I'd say that it is definitely worth the money. It was about $7 at Joann's Fabrics and at Hobby Lobby, I think I saw it for eight. Um, I actually really liked it. Uh, we did it on wood. It might look better on metal. I don't know, the example is, is a piece of metal here. Um, 
Something that I didn't do that I read later uh, is to wet your brush before you start to like dampen your brush before you start to apply the paint. Um, and then I tried something with the paint on top to make it look like, you know, the rust was kind of underneath and chipping away at the paint. I think it came out pretty good. I might try some other methods in the future, but it's definitely something that's worth the money because you get two bottles of a really good rust color. It has a texture in it already. Uh, it's like a sand texture instead of, you know, doing my method where you just mix it in there yourself. Um, and the end results uh, look pretty good. So I would definitely recommend it. Uh, go out and get it as soon as you can. And if Folk Art is watching this, you should send me more of these things, and I'll do reviews of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folk Art. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching another episode of Fabricate here on Strictly Nerd. Yeah. And uh, as always, I'll catch you next time.